Hi, I'm Sean O'Rourke with 11 Bravo Productions. And I'm here today on Soundstage 2 at EUE Screen Gem Studios in Wilmington, North Carolina, the largest studio complex on the East Coast. Today we're going to talk about how to build a jib arm. First things first when you want to build a jib arm. You have to use lightweight materials. We recommend aircraft aluminum. The key, two key components to a jib arm is going to be the materials that you use and the bearings that, uh, um, so that you can do smooth movements up and down. Uh, the bearings are very, very important. It's probably the most money you'll spend on uh, putting together your own jib. Uh, you can do them at different lengths. You can do a 4 foot, a 10 foot, an 8 foot, whatever you'd like, but you have to make sure that uh, your tripod that you purchase uh, is going to be a heavy duty tripod that can hold the weight of most low end cameras like the HVX200 uh, and below. Anything heavier than that you may want to go with something a little bit, uh, a little bit more high end. Uh, this one has a lever so that you can, when you mount the camera up to the top, you can actually do movements. And uh, uh, so not only will your, um, will, your, will your jib effect with the camera be a smooth up motion, you could actually tilt the camera down and up uh, as you go to come so that your DP has more creative uh, fluid motions in order to uh, create the uh, shots that he's going to do. This particular jib was manufactured at Stainless Steel Works in Wilmington, North Carolina. Your average uh, independent production would spend about $2,500 building and getting the parts for a jib like this. Uh, Stainless Steel Works in Wilmington, North Carolina did it for half the price. Uh, uh, an alternative uh, material use would be wood. You could make one out of wood as well. You just have to make sure you have good dowel rods in the center here. And, uh, um, the, but the drawbacks to it is uh, the, the wood might chip. Uh, the wood would warp over time, um, and uh, so it would be more of a kind of a one-time deal that you would toss when you're finished. And now we're going to show you how to build this thing. First, make sure you have all of your parts laid out in a nice orderly manner. Make sure you have your weight so you can counterbalance the jib as you're building it. Make sure the body of the jib is laid out so that you can see clearly all the parts and pieces. This is important because you don't want to make sure that you lose anything or that you don't have what you need. Make sure you get yourself a basic tool kit, one that has basic hammers and screwdrivers, and you're going to need a heavy duty tripod. Now this is how we're going to build it. I'm Sean O'Rourke with 11 Bravo Productions, and I just showed you how to build a jib arm.